My name is Becky Hyamas and I'm a product manager here at Salesforce working with the Salesforce Functions team. And today I'm going to show you what are Salesforce Functions and how we can actually use them. Uh, Salesforce Functions are event driven. It is a fully managed and integrated platform that extends the customer 360 data and processes with serverless elastic compute. And that is a mouthful. And I can continue to stand here and lecture you about all the amazing things that functions do. Like, for example, you can test them locally. Uh, it's sweet integration, the magic integration with LWC and Node.js, the integration with Node.js. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you a demo and I'm going to uh, invoke and test a function locally. I'm going to deploy it. I'm going to invoke it using Apex and then I'm going to call in um, external library from NPM to make my development more efficient. So to get started, we have here uh, our development environment. Uh, we have an index.ts file. And here's a description of this function. It's going to create an account, contact, and opportunity object all together in a single transaction using uh, the unit of work API. So here we have the unit of work API, and we're going to create the account, the contact, and the opportunity objects. Here at the end, we're going to commit. So let's see how this looks like. Let's run uh, the Salesforce function locally to test it out. So we do function start. And we're going to wait for the ready to process signals that it's going to give us. All right, it's ready to go. So now here in the other tab, I'm going to run SFDX function invoke. And we're running the function uh, locally, but using the scratch org here at the end, account dash fx dash scratch six. We're going to run these. Here we go. We got uh, the three new records, account ID, contact ID, and opportunity ID. And let's open uh, Salesforce to see how this looks like. All right, here we go. So we got that uh, account object. We also should have the contact as we do. And also let's check opportunities and we do. So let's deploy this function now. Let's use function deploy and Let's see, let's wait a second. It takes about like 20 seconds to do this. It should be like a cooking show that I have the pre-baked thing in the oven already. Um, and there you go. That's it. Now that we deploy the function, let's execute it from Apex. So what we'll do is we're going to run force Apex that uh, execute. And now note how we're referencing this file here that has account apex execute.txt file. Uh, I want to see what's in, the, in this file um, before we execute it. Let's open VS Code and check it out. So basically, this is doing a system.debug to print out the result of functions, function.get, uh, the name for function, account function. And then with this JSON payload, we're going to invoke it. The payload is setting a account name to account name, contact name to contact name, and opportunity name to opportunity name for all those new records that we're creating. So let's go ahead and run these. So once this, okay, it, it, uh, compile, uh, it compiled successfully, it executed successfully. This is the debug message for what was printed, the new account ID, new contact ID, and the opportunity ID. Okay, let's open up our Salesforce org now and verify that those records were created. Again, all right. So there we go. Now we have two records before we only had that one record. And uh, here's the new account uh, with a random number appended to the end, the one that we just created. But I want to I want to give you a little sneak peek into the power of functions and something that wasn't available to you before the Salesforce platform. Not only that you can test things locally, but uh, I'm going to go back to VS Code. And uh, since our function was written in JavaScript, well, technically this is TypeScript, but it's compiled to JavaScript. Since it was JavaScript, it means that we can also use all the other open source packages available from NPM. 
and I'm gonna change things up a bit and use a fetch package. And with that, we're going to uh, reach out to an external web service to enrich our opportunity data. And it's gonna to return um, an estimated probability. And again, this is a hypothetical example, is going to return an estimated probability of success for this opportunity based off a of contact name. So we add the code. Um, let's go ahead and run this locally. So we go back up and we start it up. And once this is done, in a couple of seconds, all right, and now ready to process signal, like we're going to invoke it from the other tab. Once this is ready to go, we're going to check, uh, let's wait until this is done. Okay, great, it's done. So now let's open, uh, let's look at those opportunities again that we've created um, in our Salesforce org. So the, the first one, the first opportunity that we created uh, should have the, here under details, should have the default probability that was 10%. But now if we go to the new one, the latest one we created, um, if we go back to details, note how it is 49%. Uh, and this is our custom probability that, um, that we created uh, for the new record. So that's it for the demo that I have today. Again, we invoked and we test the function in local development environment. Uh, we deployed it, we invoke it, and then we leverage an NPM module for, uh, for an example purpose here. A lot of our customers that are currently using Salesforce functions for in the developer preview are running a, a ton of data, like database operations, data validation and cleansing. Uh, some of our customers are also uh, testing things with APIs and a few customers right now are also taking a look at PDF um, and image processing. And that's it, folks. That's all what I have today for Salesforce Functions. If you're interested and you want to stay in touch, uh, sign up here to our newsletter. But if your organization is ready to help us kick the tires and test and provide some feedback about Salesforce Functions, reach out to your AE for a nomination into Salesforce uh, Functions. And I will see you there because I am the person running the Salesforce Functions Developer Preview. So have a good day.